the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video addition of single digit numbers in this video let us demonstrate how single digit numbers are added using abacus let us take two examples 4 plus 5 and 4 plus 3 now let us take the first example 4 plus 5 in this problem first set the number 4 in the units column that is 4 beats in the units column should be moved towards the separation bar the child should be reminded that one bead in the lower abacus has a value of one and therefore we add four beads towards the separation bar the next number to be added with the 4 is 5. Please note that the child can keep the number 5 in the extreme left of the abacus for reference if necessary. Now the number 5 should be added with the already set number 4 in the units column. Now we have to explore how many beads are left in the units column in the lower abacus all numbers have been used that means all have been moved towards the separation bar now in the upper abacus there is one bead which is to be moved towards the separation bar what we said each bead in the upper abacus has a value of 5 and therefore we have to move the bead towards the separation bar. Let us count the values now. That is 5 in the upper abacus and 4 beads in the lower abacus. That is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That means uh, the addition of 4 plus 5 is 9 all right now let us clear the beads before we get into the next problem now let us take the next example that is 4 plus 3 now we have to ensure that all the beads towards the separation bar are cleared before you take up the new problem now set the number 4 in the units column that is 4 beads are moved towards the separation bar. Now we have to add 3 to the existing number. In addition you have to find out whether there are any beads left in the lower abacus before you go to the upper abacus. In the lower abacus no number is left as all four beads have been moved towards the separation bar. Now you have to go to the upper abacus. The one bead in the upper abacus has a value of 5. Now what you have to do? You have to add only 3 to the existing 4. Here the concept of complement number comes in. 5 is bigger than 3. And therefore you have to consider the complement of 3 with respect to the number 5. That means 2. You have to now move the bead in the upper abacus towards the separation bar. Which means you have added 5 instead of adding 3. Now the complement of 3 with respect to 5 should be subtracted from the total value. What you have to do now? Any operation should start with the lower abacus first. Now how many
many numbers are there in the lower abacus? There are four. How many you have to subtract? It is two. Now clear two beads from the separation bar. That means you are left with one bead in the upper abacus and two beads in the lower abacus. And the total value is seven. That is five, six and seven. You can note that the subtraction of numbers is also involved in this exercise. And that is why the abacus addition and subtraction may go hand in hand. So let us see how double digit numbers can be added in the next video.